Hey y'all. I would say good morning, but it's not morning. It is 1.50. In about a half hour, I'm gonna start getting ready because we need to leave about three to go to a wedding. And we did not make it to church today. And, but we did get some stuff done around the house. I'm washing the bedding in the guest room because we have guests coming Wednesday. My youngest daughter and her boyfriend are coming for a few days, Wednesday and through Sunday here. Let's get, in, let's get in better lighting, shall we? So my daughter and her boyfriend are coming, Catherine, and Catherine's on social media as well. You probably have seen some of her videos. I've promoted her a time or two. And so anyway, she's coming on Wednesday and then, you know, I've gotta have the house cleaned up again. And that reminds me, I never texted everybody to tell them, hey, Saturday we're gonna have the party. When I say party, we're just gonna have the everybody over. We're gonna have a tostada bar, not a taco bar, tostada. I guess you could have tacos too if you wanted. But we're gonna make it a tostada bar. And um, so here's my kitchen island, not clean, almost. So I don't have any new bar stools yet. Probably won't have them by this weekend, but I'll set up, you know, I mean, people can eat right here, but I'll set up the tostada bar on each side and then of course the meat and stuff over there. I mean, the tostada bar over here, the meat and stuff over there, and then people can eat here. People can eat on our kitchen table and we have TV trays so people can eat by the, in the living room as well. And I already have some drinks left over from the last party we had, because we have so many parties. No, we don't. This will just be the second one, but we do like to have family over. So I'm gonna finish getting ready for that. We got the shower curtain hung up, but still need to clear a good sized area because my dad is letting us bar, my mom and dad, not just my dad's, but my mom and dad are letting us borrow a an air mattress and it's gonna go right here, but we'll need to move cat toys and just make sure that this area is cleared and vacuumed up. I'm seeing trash that probably the little one's socks will try to eat later and then regurgitate at an inopportune time. So I'm getting, anyway, I'm just getting stuff cleaned up. And in the guest room, we have, da, 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 da. I do have it pretty much cleaned up. Um, washing the bedding, I already washed that, but um, the comforter that goes on top, I just wanna freshen it up a little bit. And I'm gonna change out a couple of these pillows. And what? else was I gonna do? We did get the shower curtain hung up. So I have, that's not the shower curtain y'all, That those are towels. So I just have towels, just plain towels. And then I have that little toilet paper roll dispenser holder thing. Got the shower curtain up. That's from the old house if you remember. I don't know if you'd remember or not, but if you did, I don't know, the toilet's open. That's it was a lovely shot, wasn't it? So I have a few things here. These mostly go in the office and I'll move them shortly. But like I said, in about a half hour, so whatever I can get done in a half hour is what I'm gonna get done. I'm also editing a video. What I like to do is do something sitting down and then every like five minutes or so get up and do something else that needs to be done. This will all be done and put back together by Wednesday. Or promise you that. I've got the girls, I say girls, I have a nephew now, and I have grandson, but he's not coming over. Um, well, maybe the older grandson, but these are little kid toys. Anyways, this little kid's toy area, and we have old school Nintendo right here. Got to buy, an, uh, what do you call those, HDMI cable. Got to buy another one that's longer, but we've got the TV in here ready to go. In case they want to play games or something, we'll have it set up for that. But I've got a vacuum in here as well because Joseph is allergic to cat hair or cats, I guess. Probably cat hair because it came from a cat. And uh, I'm just trying to keep everything neat and tidy for him and his visit. And then we have this random box. The cats like to hide in it and then attack us. 
But I'm like, and then I go, oh, you scared me. I saw you sitting in there. Anyway, the cats actually don't say that, but that's what they try to do every time we go by and they're in there. They're like, ah, and you're like, oh, scared me. So, do you remember me telling you this little drama about I couldn't, oh, by the way, I'm taking pictures tonight at the wedding. <laughs> she has a professional photographer or somebody else taking the picture pictures, but she wants like a second to the camera person, to the photographer, and um, they asked me to take pictures. I don't have my compact SLR, it's in storage apparently, so I'm gonna go over to Forney in a little bit and pick up that camera from my son-in-law and borrow that for the night and so I can take some better pictures, I hope, I hope, and then go to um, the wedding, which is, so like Forney is over, which way, this is north? Forney is, Forney is over there, east, and Wiley, where I'm going, is over there, like opposite side. <laughs> so it's gonna take us about an hour from their house in Forney, from Carrie's house in Forney, it'll take us about an hour to get to where we're going, we have to be, the wedding starts at five. So I figured I need to leave by like 3.30 so that I'm there by like four. It's really gonna take us 45 minutes, but just so I can be there by just say like 4.15, 4.30. We're gonna leave here at three. Go to there, pick that up real quick, and then just head from there. So however long we chit chat over there and he shows me the camera again, because I've, used the camera a couple times, not borrowed it, but just like used it when we're on vacation or something. But I just need to know some of the basics. So I'm not there Googling at the wedding, how do you use this camera? That wouldn't be fun. But if you guys remember, I've been telling you, I can't find my sweater. I can't find my sweater. I can't find my sweater. Well, guess what? So I'm in my bedroom. I'm trying to be a little quiet because Marvin is napping. And I'm putting, here's my closet. As you can tell, if you can't tell, I'm showing you, I like black, black clothing. That's that's my jam. So I was putting one of Marvin's shirts away, and look, do you see something there? Just last night I found my sunglasses there, but that wasn't a good enough clue for me to look further. I was like, why are my sunglasses here? That's so weird. I don't understand why my sunglasses are here. But anyway, so today when I was putting this one shirt away, look, we're cowboy fans. Go Dallas Cowboys. I'm like, what is this? What, what is this? It's my sweater that I've been looking for. What in the world? So, found my sweater. <laughs> yes. And tonight, put it in the dirty clothes right now. Tonight, I am either going to wear, not either, I'm going to wear this dress. Marvin doesn't like it on me as much, but I guess I could wear this dress, but I'm just concerned about, um, I'm concerned about like, uh, that, that particular dress, that was the one that had the wardrobe malfunction at the last wedding that I wore it at. So we don't want to repeat that. Although I could wear some of these these black pants, and then I could just wear one of my tops. But I don't know. This just doesn't really feel like wedding to me. I don't know. Maybe I'll end up wearing that because I'm comfortable in it for sure. And I'm going to be taking pictures and crouching down, so I might actually wear that. That might be a good idea believe the wedding's inside so there's not gonna be really any drafts or anything like that but if we did dance um that would be a concern uh the dress flaring up i don't know that it's really that kind of a dress though is it a flary dress no it's a pretty straight dress i don't think it'll i don't think it'll show anything but we'll see i'll get marvin's opinion he'll probably tell me to wear the shirt and the pants I tend to be a little bit more comfortable if I'm doing, do, like doing stuff, like, oh, I don't know why it shows that, but anyway, I'm a little more comfortable doing stuff in pants. And since I'm gonna have to be 
crouching down, I probably should wear pants. Huh? I mean, you know. I don't know the colors of her wedding either. She didn't really tell me. And most times photographers just wear like nondescript, quiet clothing and usually like black or dark colors. And I'm not gonna be up there doing like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I know that's kind of in my mind. I'm like, it sounds like you're gonna be like the paparazzi. I'm not. But I was just saying like, if I'm, if I'm, I tend to like artistic kind of macro shots. So if I get down to get a different angle or if I try to kind of get up on something like a chair or something, I don't want to do that in a dress. So I'll probably wear the pants. Thanks for talking me through that. All right, I'm going to finish cleaning up. Um, so I have, I don't know what time we'll get home tonight, but it'll probably be like five, six, seven. Like we'll probably be home by eight. And I don't have anything in the morning, but I do have training all day from 1.30 to like 6. And I'm supposed to go to another event tomorrow night at like at 6 in Dallas. So I don't know what time I'll get home from that if I go. And if I go, it'll be super fun. And I'll meet some new folks that I just know from online. But so if I go, then it'll be like, hmm, the, um, like a, I'm gonna get home like 7.30 maybe? Probably 7.30. And then I've got an early morning meeting on Tuesday and yeah, I just got stuff. I've got I've got stuff happening all week and and then the kids come Wednesday. So I just need to stop filming for right now, buckle down and get this stuff done. It's not as much as it feels like right now, but also it feels like a lot right now. I just need to get it all wrapped up. I need to call my mom and tell her about the party that we're gonna do Saturday night, since she's making most of the food. <laughs> and then um, we will, um, I need to text my sister and sister-in-law, sorry for the ankle again, sorry. Text my sister and sister-in-law and just let them know so that they can, if they can come, that'd be great. And then text Carrie and them and let them know as well. <sighs> I should have done more last week. You ever had that feeling? I should have done more. I should have done a before and after where I go like, before, after, and then like show you like, you know, this all fixed up. I still need a little bit more mascara, as you can tell, maybe, maybe not. I can tell. And I'm just wearing this, you've seen this top before, and black pants my favorite black booties because oh and i'm also wearing my earrings that my husband gave me i think for our anniversary or something one time and um yeah I'm ready to go carrie brought over the camera which i've gotten here she didn't bring over the case which is fine um but i've just got an old towel that i have um in there kind of protecting it not really just kind of buffering some stuff and then i'm taking my id with me my sunglasses and of course my phone and, and this vlogging camera. I don't know if I'll get to vlog too much, if at all, but it'll be with me just in case. Is my husband ready? My husband's ready. Yes, I am. So he's going he's gonna with me. He's my plus one. He's my date. My hot date. Hey, y'all. I'm about to go to bed, but I thought I would come out here and wrap up the vlog. I had a great time tonight. I worked as a second photographer at a wedding of a friend and it went well. And then Marvin went with me, of course, um, because it's a mutual friend. And he, of course, helped with um, some of the setup and takedown stuff. So um, he's always such a hard worker. But I've got a full week because tomorrow I have training from 1 or 1.30 to 6. I have an event in Dallas at 6, but I don't know that I'm gonna be able to go to it um, unless I leave the training early, which is fine, I can. But if I go to the event in Dallas, I don't wanna stay that long because I'm tired. I'm already tired, I'm tired tomorrow. And tomorrow's not even here yet. <laughs> no, it's just that I've got so much going on this week. I just, I don't know, I don't wanna be out every single night. But. So I'm at least out until about five or six tomorrow. And then Tuesday morning at eight o'clock, I have the MLS meeting. Oh, 
I was trying to think earlier, what do I have to do tomorrow on Tuesday? There's another training for the city staff on the Main Street stuff that I'm getting trained on tomorrow. And I kind of wanted to hear how they explained it to the city staff, just to kind of see what, what, what was shared and how they shared and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I need to go to Costco and get a few things for our guest. We have guests coming Wednesday. Thursday I have a realtor workshop from eight to 10. And I don't know why my head's itching right now. Um, we have a realtor workshop from eight to 10. <sighs> I thought I saw a spider. <laughs> Good gravy. Anyway, I have a realtor workshop from eight to 10. And uh, I do have company in town, but they're probably not gonna be really that much a week. And then I'll skedaddle right home afterwards. It's just down the street, it's not too far. And then Saturday, we're gonna go to the Swiss Avenue Tour of Homes. And Saturday night, everybody's coming over for a Tostada bar, Tostada taco-ish bar. And my mom's making a pink cake with pink frosting because we're celebrating my birthday. And uh, we're celebrating my sister-in-law's birthday, so we're having a uh, chocolate cake with peanut butter frosting. It's gonna be fun, but I gotta get to bed. I'm really tired, I feel like I'm getting sick, so I think I'm just tired. But um, don't forget to be kind to others, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.